there is definitely something fishy about NBA 2K24 packs. There's something fishy. I've been telling you all year is bait after bait after bait. They're using this bait to make sure that they hit their bottom line. The earnings call even said that they've hit their bottom line. 2K is carrying take two interactive at this point for this quarter at least you've ran off troy then he said he's done ty depot says he's done but he's still posting videos so who knows if he's really done at this point we're about to get into season seven it's getting heavy this man has spent ten thousand dollars on packs and hasn't really made a team we don't have an auction house so i can't make any of the lineups that i want to run with to make a team with the i want to run with the showtime lakers but i can't get 100 overall magic and we don't really have a bunch of Lakers that I can get to in the first place. So it is what it is at that point. You getting this kind of content from me. This is what you're getting. I mean, at this point, it's called the GOAT series. I mean, it's goaded. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's goaded. I mean, it might just be a little too goaded. We have four Larry Birds and 2K is unfazed with what's going on at this point. That's a pretty good graphic, but why do we have four Larry Birds? Why are there, why are there four Larry Birds available at one time? That doesn't make sense to me. Maybe it makes sense to you. Make it make sense, 2K. Make it make sense. Kobe. I'm not necessarily gonna get into the particulars. You can pause the video anywhere you want and read any of this that's in the courtside report right here. I made it available for you. Um, I mean, yeah, you can pause as you go if you want to. What I really wanna talk about is the fact that there are five six seven larry birds there are there's a larry bird at every position and that's just kind of diluting the market i don't know i'm not reading all of this and i'm not i'm just not gonna read it all at this point i'm not taking my time to read it i'm just gonna grind it out throughout the season honestly i mean the season's about to start right now and i'm gonna i'll figure it out as i go at this point i'm just gonna figure it out as i go it's no reason to really sit here and go through all this at the same time. I mean, they've they've hooked me at this point. I'm gonna buy the Hall of Fame pass because they got a joker that plays point guard at the Hall of Fame pass level. I mean, it, or at the pro pass level, one of them levels. I'm definitely gonna, but that's a double-edged sword because bro, you got, you got joker running the one pay to play. You gotta pay to get him. You definitely have to pay to get bro, but you got La Joker running the point guard position and the season starts right now. So we're going to get straight to it. We're going to dive right in. That's going crazy though. That's a double edged sword. I'm going to have to deal with everybody out here running Joker at the one. Oh my God. He's like 6'11", but he is big than a, oh my God. Uh, point guard Joker is going to go crazy. Center point guard Joker is going to go crazy. And the fact that it's pay to play. I don't know how many people are really going to have him, how many people are really going to go ahead and get to point guard Joker, but I know I'm going to have him. I'm going to run him at least. I'm going to make a video, but that's neither here nor there. Kobe. Kobe. And with that said, let's jump right into it, bro. Look, we unlocking all this off top. We got Jamal Murray. We got a Douglas fur. We got plus tens, plus fifteens. We didn't went plus 10 levels off the rip. We went to plus 13. We got an Ascension out here already. I mean, it's a lot going on. I got a few double XP coins. I got about 13 Ascension picks off the rip. I mean, the little $20 pass, they got me. I told you they had me. I told you in the beginning of the year they had me. This little Douglas Fur Trailblazer mascot is going to be hard. I'm going straight. They got a little rugby. Okay, I like this. Uh, Yeah, this might, this might be it, bro. I'm not going to hold you. White my player goggles. I'm not going to hold you. These, that season seven ball look kind of clutch. Looks kind of clutch. NBA playoff unsellable pack. I got a lot of packs to open. We gonna get into a whole lot in a little second. It's like, it's like, I mean, I'm gonna scroll through this. I'm gonna let you, why do they have graduation caps in here? Cameron Thomas, Pink Diamond, uh, NBA unsellable playoff pack. Okay, a Galaxy Opal unsellable. I see you. I see that. I actually see that. Another one right here. Another Galaxy Opal unsellable. It's a lot of gulps that they're giving away this season alone um some more mascots i see them i see them i see them uh what hey look the biggest part about it to me is gonna be that they're giving away that low rider oh a championship belt too jerry west hey galaxy Opal jerry west is gonna get a video he's definitely getting his own video but um the low rider the premium midnight hydraulic low rider 
I don't know. Look, the key of it to me that is that gold floor setter that you see right there at level 40 and that Nikolai Jokic that you see right there running point guard. We're going to get to him real quick. I'm going to tell you how to get to him too. First off, I mean, we got to get to, we got to get to actually these agendas. What agendas do they have for us starting off the season? Win a game, get you a, a Dark Matter Greg Popovich piece, get a piece of Greg Popovich. All right, we got 15 hours to do that. Get an unlimited ring. It's the weekend time. We got to get that ring. Uh, unfazed. Unfazed packs are here. So let's dive into what it takes to get unfazed out here. Win by 10. Win five games by 10 points. Win a game using five Celtic players. Get 75 assists over multiple unlimited games. Get three double-doubles over multiple unlimited games. Score 60 points with a Celtic player in a game. Score 150 points over multiple clutch time online games. And then complete the un phase spotlight challenge wonder what those are first of all the unfazed is three unfazed spotlight challenges gotta go ahead and rotate through those joints you know how that goes you know how i get 15 points in the game i think that's a 21 point game and then a 40 point game or something like that a 5v5 game something like that you know how it go it get real sticky out here and then don't sleep on these even set these season seven spotlights bro you see you get 25k out here you're gonna get 25k out here towards that and then, you know, you know, you know how I go, you know how I go. You got to get to level 40 in order to get to the end of the road on those. So get busy doing what you got to do. We're going to jump into these unfazed joints, though. What does it take to be unfazed out here? First off, let's look at the player market. Wait, that's not the player market. Let's look at the player market. We got four lock ins for this joint. 19K, 6K for Paul George. We don't need Paul George. We might as well. uh might as well go ahead and spend 19k mt on buddy real quick like these right here though what is it gonna take to get these it's looking like 235,000 mt and then 493,000 494,000 honestly mt in order to lock this in i mean buddy good luck with that i mean it should be easy to pull all four of these joints out of packs if you're gonna pull a box which we're about to jump into right now for some reason i have to pull a box it's only 200k mt for a box 10 box r 200k for a 20 box vc i got 200k vc and i i think we jumping into a 20 box let's yap about it let's hope we can get something jumping out of this 20 box though because without without getting some jumping off top what are we really doing can i get that 100 overall Oh, Larry Legend, and we start out gold. Gold is not bad. Nothing shaking in the second pack. We don't need something to shake real quick, though. As we get a Tyler Hero out of here, we're going to really need something to shake, buddy. Look for me. Something shaking. We got a little shake of lake. It's a Galaxy Opal. Is that a diamond or a Galaxy Opal? I'm not sure right now. Let's hope we got something proper out that joint, though. Can we get something right? Can we get something light? Yeah, you know I mean, Unfaze Emmanuel quickly. All right, we needed that. That's one of the lock ins. I wonder what Emmanuel quickly is actually looking like, though. What is what is he really hitting for? I mean, I'm sure he's not making my team. I pretty much got darks on this team right now. There's no way that Emmanuel quickly is going to be able to beat out one of these darks that I got going. Who am I running at point guard right now? I've been running Shea, Shea Gildress. I've been running Shea Gildress all season since I got him. So, I mean, I really like the Sigs, but we running Joker. As soon as we get Joker, he might be the point guard for the rest of the season. It's just going to be really tough to deal with everybody else running joker at the one i wonder how good he's actually gonna be at the one spot as we get nothing out of the fourth oh we're at box we're at number eight pack eight so we got another one okay we got another shaker hopefully it's not emmanuel quickly hopefully it's not a duplicate can you not do okay it's not a dupe it's not dupey oh wait it is dupey i'm i'm doofy oh my gosh oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh no so this is how we coming out. This is how we jumping out early. You can see what's going on in these boxes. You might be you might be looking at a bunch of Emmanuel quicklies. If you're not careful, you know what I mean? If you're not watching your step, you just might end up. Ah oh, man, we need that Larry Legend. Can we get something shaking? Can I get something to shake out here for you? I'm just trying to bring y'all a little something shunk real quick. You know what I mean? Get something really shaking. Okay, there's another shake. Hopefully it's not another Emmanuel quickly out this joint. You know what I mean? Hopefully we can get somebody somebody bigger to shake out here. Okay, it's not Emmanuel quickly. That's that's good to know. That's good to see. I mean, off the jump. 
off the jump is Robert Robert Williams the third. Okay, unfazed Robert Williams. Okay, that's two lock ins. That's two. Okay, we got like ten chances left. How many? What number are we on? Twelve. Okay, we got eight chances left. No shaker out of number twelve, so we got eleven chances left. Oh, wait, I'm my math comes from a different planet. All right, man. Thirteen. No shake on thirteen. Hmm. This is tough. This is we're we're getting down to the nitty gritty. It's no that it's no way that we're spending any amount of cash though. We're not about to spend MT on these lock-ins. Not this time. It's only four of them. It makes the odds way easier. Hopefully we can just get our lock-in box as we get another Emmanuel quickly. At least we're gonna be able to lock him in for for actually like a, a re-roll. You know what I mean? We got a couple of re-rolls out of him. Because have haven't we seen the third one at this point? I don't know, buddy. It's early and I'm just really trying to get right. Real early in the season. I'm gonna get into the grind early. Hopefully y'all get into the grind early. Try to bring y'all some primo content. Oh my gosh. As we get nothing out of these packs are really, I mean, they're hitting. They're hitting a little bit. The bait is biting a little bit. We get a purple, a purple nurple, a Damian Lillard. I haven't seen a Damian Lillard in a minute. As we get another shake out of pack 19, another Galaxy Opal shake. At least there's been Galaxy Opals. There's no pinks in this, in this, uh, this whole get down. So, I mean, at least that's, at least that's, that's busting. As we get Cam Whitmore, that's our third, that's our third lock-in. We might be, we might be okay. Number 20, what's, what's, what's jumping out of number 20? I almost got all the lock-ins out of this first box. That's kind of, that's kind of clutch. Okay, so we, we looking pretty good. We made out pretty good. So we got Wally Zerbiak left. We can buy Wally Zerbiak right now for 126 MT, but I think we're going to go ahead and actually jump right back into, into the market and just jump on this 10 box and try to see if we can jump him out of there. I mean, why not? We need to see what these base packs talking about. We really do need to see what them base packs are hitting for. But at this point, I'm just not feeling comfortable doing that. We're going to jump right into a 10 box. 25 packs open so far. How? Lord, how? I'm confused at that point. We get an Aaron Gordon. We get a holographic Aaron Gordon. You know we need those holographic cards. You know we need those holographics. Pack two is gold. Just, just shake me some. Come on, be cool. Oh my gosh. All right, Chris Middleton. I mean, so far, so good. I'm not gonna hold you. All right, as we get nothing hopping out of that one, I just need like a, I need that Wally Zerbi at. Honestly, I, if you could throw me, you know, you know, throw me a goat. I'll be cool with a goat. I'll be cool with a goat. All right, I mean, that's a dark matter. That is dark. That is actually dark. Let's go, baby. Good looking out the 10 box. Okay, point guard. All right. All right. Kobe. Not who we were looking for, but I mean, it's a six foot point guard with a with an option, I guess. Not what we were looking for at all, though. Like, that's just not the pick that uh, as we get another dark impact seven. Wow. 2K. Hopefully it's not a duplicate, but um, out of the East Coast. OK. All right, Paul Pierce. It's not who we, they've given us both of the troll cards so far. We got to go and see what their jumpers are looking like. But these are actually maybe maybe both of the troll cards out of the pack. Maybe. I mean, that's just how I was feeling upon first glance. But I really do have to look at at the jumpers as we get nothing out of pack nine. Let's see what pack ten is hitting on. Oh wait, that was pack eight. Pack nine hitting on nothing too. We get a Jalen Brunson. Let me see if we can get that 100 out of pack 10 and we don't. Biscuits. They served us warm biscuits. And then for some reason, my Xbox just restarted out of nowhere. Um, It's not an update. Those usually happen in the middle of the night. Anyway, is eh. Somebody, you tell me. You tell me at this point. I can't. I can't tell you. You tell me. Man. Sometimes I feel like if it's not one thing, it's a whole nother thing. And if it's not another thing, it's the other thing. And if it's not you leaving the community, it's me acting like I want to lead a community. But what I'm not going to do is cry about it. 
I'm not going to cry. I'm going to get this content off. I'm going to tell you the best way to come at these packs, the best things to come at to spend your money or to get the most bang for your buck. And if you like that, like the video, if subscribe for some more of this, because I'm going to be here for you. It don't matter who leaves. I'll be here. I, I'll be sure. I don't know if you can count on anything else out here in this world. You can count on um, being in here, not complaining about another hoverboard and another low rider. And then the purchase now that's always in your face. They always got this purchase now in your face and they act like they so unfazed, giving you this ghost series situation. I'm tired of this whole ghost series thing. This is going to drive me up the wall. You do understand that these goats are going to be a thing going forward. They've set a paradigm. They've, they've set a whole new agenda for what's my team, like what my team is going to be. Like going forward, this is just what it is. This is just my team, bro. Like we're gonna be, we're gonna be dealing with goat series for the rest of it. There's no other way to. There's no other way around it. There's really no other way around it. Um, I'm looking at. I'm waiting for. Like I think they said NCAA drops in what October, October or something. Like I, I'm waiting on that. And then I think they pushed back. Low key, leave it in the comment section. Did they push back? GTA 6 did GTA 6 get pushed back to like 26 2026 I think I heard that like the release should be like fall 2026 but I'm not sure I have to look that up or some one of y'all let me know I don't know this actually looks pretty good I'm waiting to get that 15 card option pack out here I'm definitely gonna buy some more of these shoes I want some more Grinches for my collection um these prize balls if you don't be buying these prize balls I mean pause no no diddler these prize balls actually are worth it sometimes if you if you just want to get some more some more bang for your bucket so to speak as far as these unopens though i got a deluxe i got a cerebral deluxe and an unfazed Lux. we're gonna roll those we rewrote those let's open this real quick though and then we're gonna do the ascension low key and then we're gonna get to like we're gonna get to some more grind just just for the grind of it I don't really have much to talk about today, but we just wanted to come chime in on what's going on in the community and then look at some of these cards. That's actually what we're going to do after this, after we really open up all these all these joints. Matter of fact, before we do, before we do mess around and open those deluxe packs, because we we looking to get we looking to get some hundy overalls, baby. I need like a hundo. You know what I'm saying? We get, I need a hundy out that joint. You know what I'm saying? It's Jamal Murray. I want to see what this Jamal Murray is actually hitting on. Let's um let's open him right now. If we looking at Jamal Murray, his little ugly, his little ugly ain't talking about nothing. I mean, he's a he's a 98 three point shot, all right, all right. 40 Hall of Famers, 23 gold ones, okay. Out of Kentucky, take a new balance. Uh, just a dark matter point guard. I mean, he is kind of small. Jamal Murray, oh what? Jamal Murray 6'4? He kind of makes the cut, but he's still kind of small for what I'm looking for. 97 ball handle, uh, 97 acceleration and speed with ball type. Uh, lackluster defense, it's okay. Not what I'm looking for to round out my team though, to be honest. I'm looking for that. Okay, he got that Trey Young. He got that Trey escape. He does have that Trey escape. The John one moving step back. Just really not what I'm looking for to round out my game though, so to speak. Like, as far as my team has come, you know what I mean? What, what they've given me for my team and what I've been able to use my grindables to get to. You know what I'm saying? It's just not what I'm looking for. I got a lot of reroll packs out here and I'm looking to open them. I got a whole lot of playoff packs. I'm really looking to open them. I mean, at this point, it's a bunch of stratospheres in here too. It's kind of, we're gonna open this Nebula. Nebulas came with 100 overall T-Mac. Was it T-Mac? Was it him? And he's not in this one. So it really don't matter at this point. We got Tory Craig. Okay, re-roll for Tory Craig. And he's not even, we already have Tory Craig. That's crazy to me. And then we got a leap year base. Let's open this leap year base pack. Why not? We're gonna start going through these little by little throughout these videos just because we got these re-rolls, you know what I mean? And we we don't get nothing out the leap year base. Royce O'Neal. We already got Royce O'Neal. We can't even put him towards collector level. That's crazy to me. I mean, come on, 2K. At least give me a little point towards my towards my collector level. Open a playoff base. Why not? Can we get a collector level at least? I know it's not going to be a hundy overall because they're not even in. I mean, come on. And then we get what do we get out of here. A gold one. Oh, a Bobby Portis. At least it's green. And we probably already got. It. And we already have Bobby Portis. Oh my gosh. Let's look at let's look at what we are. I mean, we we getting sidetracked. We getting sidetracked. 
I mean, maybe that's what 2K is out here to do. Sidetrack us. Let's get it. Let's let's see if we can get this this Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming. At least shake some. Oh, you're not even gonna shake nothing for me. That's cold blooded. That's cold blooded. As we get Reggie Theus, and I'm pretty sure we already have Reggie Theus too. Can we at least add Reggie Theus to the exchange? Yeah, he does go in the exchange. Let's throw him towards this gladiator pack. Why not? Why the freak not? At this point, anything's possible, right? You know what? Let's jump into my collection. Let's see what we already working with. We didn't got a few. We didn't got a few unfazed cards out of here. We still need Wally Zerbiak. But we have three of these joints cracking already. We did get Paul Pierce out of here. And we have, we can sell this dude for 90K. He's only worth 90K. Chris Paul is worth 90K. You get 90K out of, okay. I mean, all right. You get 90K out of Paul Pierce and Chris Paul. Let's take a look at this Chris Paul though. We honestly want to see what Buddy is hitting for. So um, point guard, shooting guard, six foot. He's definitely not making my team. I mean, he's dark matter, 40 Hall of Fame. 26 gold ones, uh, 99 three-point shot. Chris Paul with a 99 three-point shot is kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting that at all. 99, wait a minute, he might make my team. 99 ball handling, 99 perimeter defense, and 99 lateral quickness, 99 speed with, what in the, what in the, what, what? He can have 99 strength. You can actually give him 99 strength. You can get him up to an 89 driving dunk, but the man has a 99 three-point shot with 99 ball handling, 99 speed with ball. 99 speed and acceleration i'm i'm geeking right now he's short but he's all those 99s with trey young escape and stephen curry moving behind the back that's a cheat code the jelly layup package Kyrie dribble style that's a cheat code low-key the only problem is that he's six foot but this man is that the audacity where did 2k buy their audacity because i need i need some of that audacity i'm not gonna hold you at six foot standing at six foot this man has shea gildress alexander it looks like he has him beat by 20 okay he has shea gildress beat by 23 and shea gildress is my starting point guard the only thing that i really would need to see with this man is what exactly is he sitting up like like what kind of okay i'm not i'm not gonna hold you this is incredible <laughs> this is kind of incredible He's busting all of the moves that I like. The jumper isn't too bad either. I mean, he's kind of he's kind of silky. He's kind of silky. I mean, you could ask for him to be a bigger player model. That's the only problem is that he's just not big. Bros only pause. That's what she said. But yeah, the only problem is just like Buddy is just not. He's just not tall enough to really to really get there for me. Imagine running this card. You're running this six foot card, and then you have to play against. Seven foot Joker. How tall is Joker? 6'11. Yeah, that's the only problem that I see with this card. I got one more gripe. Um, well, I mean, not even one more gripe. I just want to see, like, what does he stack up against 99 overall Michael Jordan? Jordan has him beat by five points, but where? Where does Jordan have him beat at? On the inside scoring. You can see it. It's in the inside scoring. It's pretty much around this whole level here where he has him beat. In this inside scoring so i mean i don't hey this man is a this man is a cheat code if you ask me i mean a six foot cheat code would with a lot to be desired i mean you just would be desiring how it really honestly maybe some badges you might want some extra badges out of him you can add some finishing badges uh claymore corner specialist spot finder i mean yeah i mean there's no shooting badges that you would really want to give him defensive badges maybe you would give him that workhorse that off ball pass ankle braces um and then as far as oh shoot and then as far as the uh playmaking badges i don't physical handles special delivery do you want that close playmaker do you need that on this on this card honestly to be honest do you need that i don't think you do but you hey you call it how you see it and then let's check out this this Paul Pierce situation. As far as Paul Pierce is concerned, um, I don't know. I don't know this man like that. You understand me? I do not know exactly what Paul Pierce is hitting for. So let's check it out. Let's figure him out right now. A 6'7", small forward shooting guard. Okay, 40 Hall of Fame badges, 
28 gold badges, a 97 three-point shot. The inside scoring is 95-esque, mid inside scoring. 97 ball handle with a 94 speed with ball, 94 speed and acceleration, 95 vertical. Um, the defense is looking 97 perimeter defense with around mid everything else, 90 mid 90s for everything else. I'm I'm not liking what I'm seeing, but for him to be an off guard forward, I mean, it might work out. It could work out. Signature size up is Derrick Rose. Kobe's escape. I'm not working with that. I told you that's that issue we don't like. Uh, James Harden layup package with 12 dunk packages. We looking at we looking at a glorified bum with a jumper. I'm not gonna hold you. We looking at we looking at some mid. I think we looking at some some hot mid. I think Paul Port. I think Paul Pierce might be some hot mid, and that's no shot at Paul Pierce. That's just how 2K is doing these cards this season. So I guess we can say leave it up to 2K to drop a hot mid Paul Pierce. He could have been a little bit better. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. Oh, that jumper's kind of slow. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you one thing, and then I'm gonna tell you again. That jumper is kind of slow. I'm not liking what I'm seeing at all. That jumper is really slow. This man is not gonna make it out here with it. He's gonna have to be wide. His jumper is really, really slow, bro. I'm not liking that. Is he a mid-range demon? Is, yes. Is he a uh, is he a scoring assassin? Yes, but but no he's i mean oh this is not it bro y'all really messed up this time i mean with him to have kobe step back is well kobe's escape excuse me is kind of nah i mean it works it works i'm not gonna lie to you it works it's just not what i like personally if you like it i love it you know what i mean i'm just here to bring you the news and let you know what's going on and I'm just going to let you know at, at my pace, you know what I mean? So like and subscribe for that at least. And let me know in the comment section if you liked it and if you subscribe. We might start doing some kind of giveaways. I might start giving away $50 cards or something. Maybe once a month, something like that. Maybe we'll have a drawing, get you some VC out here for another build. Help you get some more, you know, auction cards or some auction cards. Listen to me like there's an auction house or something. Ain't no auction house, baby. I mean, at least get you that Hall of Fame pass or something like that. A little $20 Hall of Fame pass. Get you right. You know what I mean? You'd be able to run with that that pay for play point guard joker. So let's go see what Buddy is talking about anyway. We need to tap in with that. This pay for play point guard joker is he might be it. Point guard center, Nikolai Jokic, 40 Hall of Fame badges, 37 gold ones. Uh, 98 three-point shot. The ball handle was low. It's just 90. 94 speed with ball. Laid back and off a dog. Expressive badges. He does have 98 rebounding. Uh, acceleration. Okay, so mid athleticism, mid ball handling. Speed. The speed is kind of mid. The finishing looks kind of mid too with a 90 driving dunk. 95 standing dunk. The defense looks kind of... The, the premier thing about this card is going to be that he's 6'11 at the point guard spot. He's a big frame that you can put on ball. He'll just be on ball as a defender, and he will be able to run the, the actual offense for you. I mean, if you're looking to sig up and get with him, he has pro escape moves. Come on, buddy. That, that, that peg left him right there. That makes me feel kind of bad for spending the 20 on the Hall of Fame pass, but I was going to do it anyway because they got me hooked. They threw me the bait. I took it. Um, Looking at the move and step back on Chris Paul, looking at the, these SIGs are mid. I mean, I don't even have to, we don't even have to go through it. The SIGs are really mid. He has Pro 2 leaner. That might be a, that might be a clip, but Joker's jump shot to me is, uh, I mean, eh. you put a shoe on this card, you'll have a hot garbage can at the one spot that can defend a little better than, and with 89 perimeter defense though, I don't see him being really sticky. The only thing that I'm seeing out of Joker at point guard is that he's going to be really big, a big body frame, a big player model that's going to stick to the other point guard and and pretty much defend for you at a high level just because he's big enough. You know what I'm saying? So just I'm, we're going to have to see it's going forward. We're just going to really have to see what it turns out to be for point guard Joker. With that said, the last thing I really wanted to do out here I wanted to go ahead and take a look at what it takes to get these Larry Birds because there's so many different variations of bro. You got these Dark Matters, you got all the way up to 100 overall. So, I mean, we we really got to tap into that. 
So for the finale of the video, we've been here long enough. Let's tap in to see what's going on with Larry Legend in this GOAT series and what it takes to get these GOAT series cards. With that being said, let's dive straight into this GOAT series and figure out what it takes to get these cards. Introducing the GOAT series. Each week in season seven, a new My Team GOAT will be released with a collection of GOAT series player cards. At the top of the My Team Power Tower, what power tower are you? At the top of the My Team Power Tower are the GOAT player cards themselves, with all attributes rated at 99 and every badge maxed out at Hall of Fame. My Team Power Tower, get out of here with that. These top tier players will also be accompanied by alternate versions of the featured My Team GOAT player, including Galaxy Opal, Dark Matter, and 100 overall variants. Of note, the four Dark Matter versions will include different secondary positions to ensure featured player can take control at any position. So that's if I'm able to pull them or are all of them grindable like Let's finish. Let's finish. I have so many questions. Each week's GOAT series release will be accompanied by a challenge game to earn a newly released 97 overall Galaxy Opal player. OK, so I can earn the Galaxy Opal version for doing a challenge for the featured player. In season seven, if you complete all six GOAT series challenge games, you will receive a Dark Matter Phil Jackson coach card. Ooh, goody, goody. I definitely want that. Special inserts are bait. Remember that. Don't go all out for them because you will be upset and 2K will be unfazed as they have stated here themselves with this first iteration. The first GOAT series release will be included with unfazed featuring 100 overall James Harden and GOAT Larry Bird. Both known for their scoring prowess, Bird's domination of the game has often been theorized to hold up across the NBA's eras and pairing him with the Rockets era james harden lets you put that theory to the test joining these legendary scores in this release is a hall of famer and the previous all-time scoring leader dark matter kareem abdul jabbar go series larry bird 100 overall larry bird dark matter larry bird power forward point guard dark matter larry bird power forward shooting guard dark matter larry bird power forward small forward dark matter larry bird power forward center and then Galaxy Opal Bird and Galaxy Opal Bird Challenge Reward. Those are two different cards. So the challenge reward is different from match Bird's career high by scoring 60 points with any player against the 85 Hawks to complete the challenge game. The Dark Matter Phil Jackson coach card will be available after all six challenge games have been released in season seven. OK, so there's six games I have to play in order to do the challenge, six challenges over the seasons. So that's what, six weeks after six weeks, we'll be able to have the Phil Jackson coach card. I wonder what that coach card is going to have as the uh, the actual uh, upgrades, because the coach I'm working with now is not too bad. So with that being said, let's go through let's go through these goat Larry Birds and see what they're talking about. First of all, let's make sure that we have them all open on the docket. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I see eight Larry Birds, one little, two little, three little Indians, four little, five little, six little Indians, seven, eight, eight little Larrys. All right, little Larry, let's get to it. Okay, so Larry's looking 20 Hall of Fame badges on Galaxy Opal Larry Bird, Goat Bird, 20 Hall of Fame badges. That's laughable. A 95 three point shot. This Larry Bird is pitiful. We're not taking our time to look at that. Galaxy Opal Larry Bird is a fail. You get to F. Galaxy Opal, the second Galaxy Opal Larry looks a little older, looks a little older. 27 Hall of Fame badges, 47 gold ones, a 98 three point shot. Badges look a little healthier. Card looks a little healthier. I see a lot of 80 on that finishing. This one is going to get, I'll give him a D. This guy gets a D minus 98, 98 bird gets a D minus. OK, the uh, the first dark matter bird, power forward center bird is looking like a 99 three point shot. 99 driving dunk, 95 driving dunk. I'm sorry. This card looks, I mean, it's looking kind of mid upper defense, upper 90s defense. The badges are looking healthier. 40 Hall of Fame badges, 36 gold ones. Um, Steve Francis signature move. Trey Young escape. Steph Curry's moving step back. Emmanuel Quickly's lower base. Uh, this card is actually going to get a B. I'll give that card a B. Um, 
And if we look at this next point guard bird, point guard bird is actually going to be the one. 99 three-point shot. I think I see the same. Okay, yeah, all these stats are the same. These are the same cards, just at different, just at different positions. Oh, shoot. I keep dropping this controller. Yeah, pray for me, y'all. I'm going through something. Unk is going through some things. They've given me so many Larry Birds that my mind can't keep up. And I'm just, I'm just all over the place. Trey Young escape. Yeah, same escape. Okay, so these are all the same cards, so to speak. They just have different positions. This one plays at the small forward spot. Um, the next difference is gonna be 100 overall, Larry Bird. And then he has 99 in everything. He's 99 everywhere except the standing dunk. Driving dunk is 98. Uh, how many badges does bro get? 51 badges, 57 Hall of Fame badges, 20 gold badges. He plays the small forward, power forward spot at 6'9". That's going to be a 6'9 power forward to beast with. Steve Francis, signature size up, Kyrie dribble style, long athlete layup. Same, okay, same six, same six, everything. So Larry's they're pretty much the same. This GOAT Larry Bird is going to be 99 in everything everything with all the hall of fame badges to go with him 77 hall of fame badges out this bit alpha dog and expressive with the same six larry bird is looking like a beast that 99 larry larry legend so that's what it takes to get larry bird that's what you got to do to have your larry bird on your squad if you, that's what you're looking for if that's what you're into you know what i mean remember go get your unfazed agendas out the way and i promised y'all that i would open another pack i promised y'all that and i'm not gonna hold y'all i'm about to do it right now we're gonna open this cerebral right now we're gonna see if this cerebral shakes something for me we need that timmy duncan can i get that 100 overall timmy d and i can't get that timmy d that's crazy we got jeremy shown show shaka shaka sean i don't know how to say his name i can't say that man name for nothing um, don't hold me don't hold it against me. We'll put him towards this gladiator pack, though. We need a couple more for that. Um, hey, it's look, It's not looking too good. It's not looking too good. Can we get a Kobe? We just need to splash. Kobe. Can we get Goat Larry out of this pack? Can we shake some? Can I see what that Goat shake look like, 2K? You... Okay, we got a shake. We got a shake. Let's flip some. All right, we got, we got what we got. You know what I mean? It's an ope. Hopefully it's Larry Bird's old, but we just told you that one of them Larry's is kind of ugh. So we wouldn't want that brother anyway. We get unfazed Cam Whitmore. I think that's what we know. We're looking for Wally Zerbiak. So it's a fail on that note. We got Cam Whitmore, though. He goes for what does he go for? Swap from collection. 50K. He goes for 50K. Do I want to throw him on? No, I don't. On a, no, I don't. I think I want that 50K right now. You know what I'm saying? We're going to swap, bro, from the collection. Sell that for 50K because we need that. We need those 50K bones. You know what I'm saying? It was good while it lasted. We had our fun. We tried to get through it. Hey, I appreciate y'all for sticking around. Like the video. Subscribe for more. We're going to be back here all through season seven. Bring y'all that heat. So get ready for that super hot fire. You know what I mean? Kobe. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.